Attention all swingers. Wait, that doesn't sound right. If you're a bowler, then I'm talking to you. Allow me to be more plain. Today we will be touching on the topic of swing plane. What it is, what it should look like, and what good arm swings have in common next on The Art of Bowling. Hi, I'm USBC Silver Certified Coach Arthur O'Connor. Here on the Art of Bowling channel, we discuss tips, tricks, and techniques to help you improve your bowling scores. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss another episode of Art of Bowling. Having a good swing plane is key to consistency in this sport. It's vital to keep your arm swing straight and lined up underneath your head. Let's look at a couple of bowlers and see what their swing planes look like. Here we have Scott. As you can see, Scott has an arm swing that goes behind his back. It looks like he's also muscling the ball. Since Scott is built like the Incredible Hulk, his ball weight should be 16 pounds, even though he could probably throw a 20 pound ball without breaking a sweat. Because he is so strong, a free arm swing is very difficult for him. We try to help with this by making sure his shoulder is tilted toward his ball side. Having broad shoulders and a small waist as he does, he's able to keep his ball close to his ankle. When we look at his push away, we see that it's too far away from his body. This causes a looping shape in his swing or a figure eight. What we want Scott to do to fix this is to have him exaggerate his push off across his body or more inside. This helps account for his tendency to push away from his body and get his arm in a better swing plane. A bad swing plane happens most often in a bad push off when the bowl is pushing off in the wrong direction. Remember a good swing plane happens directly underneath the head with the ball taking the place of the right leg for a right handed bowler. In order for your ball to do this, you need to get your right leg and your right hip out of the ball's way. Crossing over your first step or moving your right foot directly in front of your left foot will help get your hip out of the way, allowing your ball an unimpeded straight swing plane. Aside from your leg and hip, we need to keep the ball side shoulder tilted down more than the other shoulder. We were told for years and years not to drop that shoulder, but dropping that shoulder helps clear your hip and leg. Let's check out Natalie's swing plane. As we can see, it's directly underneath her head and as smooth as can be. Nat is very accurate and has great power, thanks in large part to her excellent swing plane. Remember, push out over the toe, drop the shoulder, and cross that first step. These three things will help your game. Now if you're ready to hit the lanes and work on a straighter swing plane, hit that like button. And if you straight up have another tip for a good swing plane, leave a comment below with your ideas. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes. Hi, I'm USBC Silver Certified Coach Arthur O'Connor. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes. Coming up on The Art of Bowling.